Hi everyone and welcome to my colour correction research assignment. Now, through this research assignment I am going to answer four questions. One is, what is colour grading? Two is, why we colour grade? Three is the software options we use to colour grade. And four is how to do it. Now I'm not going to go into the advanced stuff, I'm just going to show you what is advanced. But I will go through some basics and um, just a few techniques. Now, <clears throat> I spent a few hours researching and I've came across a few websites. Obviously Wikipedia helped me quite a bit. Uh, There's a lot of YouTube and Vimeo videos. There's also a few articles, a few magazines and a few interviews with a few editors and visual effects artists. But I found one named Andrew Kramer. Uh, he was a former visual effects artist for a company but he went to start off on his own to create his own website and make his own business. I have a lot of faith in this guy mainly because he worked in visual effects and all the videos he does anyway just look fantastic. Um, if you do take a look, uh, it's Andrew Kramer, no, videocopilot.net. He does have, have andrewkramer.com, that's more of a blog kind of thing. But um, he just basically gives you a few tutorials and a few lessons. Um, it kind of helped me out really understanding and and it, he, he just let me know of, of what kind of stuff I need to do and how I need to do it, what I need to do and what I need to pay for. After looking at a few articles and a few websites, I have come to the conclusion that colour grading is the process of altering and enhancing colour of the film you've created or the footage you've been given. Now, uh, for the programmes, I have found quite a few. Uh, three, in fact. One is After Effects. Uh, another programme is Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro has uh, is, is not as much as After Effects. It's more of a, a, a dimmed-down version, but it still gives you fantastic quality and the best looking footage you can for that program. Third, namely, is the black magic design, Da Vinci. Now, Da Vinci is one of the b most powerful creative colour correction, it says it there. But obviously we can't get into that mainly because it's for the advanced, we're going, we're going for the basic. Now let's... Now to answer another question, why do we colour grade? I have four reasons. Number one is to balance each shot so they all look the same. Another one is colour correction is also used to correct errors in high exposure and colour balance. Number three is to achieve a look. Now an example of this is if you're filming a green screen or you're filming in a snowy area and you want it to look absolutely freezing. You would tint it blue and desaturate it a tiny bit just to give that, oh wow, it's really cold effect. The last but not least is create or enhance special effects. So let's get on to the software. Now in After Effects there's a lot of colour correction. So if you go in Effect, colour correction, there is a lot. Now you you we, we obviously are not going to go through all these mainly because this is advanced stuff. Maybe the CC toner CC toner is usually actually one of the easiest ones to do. It just gives all the mid-tones a nice colour which you can always blend it in and just make it look more realistic. Let me just turn colour armor off. Make it look really nice and realistic and it actually gives you this really nice control that you can always add like maybe red to the shadows or you can add a you can add green highlights, you can make it look terrible. Um but CC Tone is one of the nicest colour correction tools I've ever used personally. But um I would give that more of an advanced technique because you have to have more stuff to it. Now for the colour armor effect this is another advanced thing. Um, it just gives you all the colours in the world, and I usually just go on the ramp grey and desaturate all. No, not even desaturate. You just pull out all the whites, all the blacks, and it just gives you this really nice, weird look. Maybe you could Craig's in the shot. Didn't even realise. So that's that is After Effects, a a big program. Um, it's just something that you'd go on if you want more advanced kind of stuff. Now this is a short scene I shot a few days ago um, and I'm ready to colour correct it. As you can see it's the, the light is pretty terrible. Um, I wanted it really bright so I could dim the lights in the shot but always have the reflection of some lights in the shots. Now if I add a proc amp which can always be found in here you just drag and drop onto the clip. So obviously I want this to look like a, a horrible horror scene. So if I turn it on now, you can see that already I have dimmed down the yellow walls. Not a lot, but quite a lot, if you get what I mean. I've also really overexposed the shadows, so it's just a little bit darker. I've also took a lot of the colour out. So 
it was bright red, bright pink, bright horrible, bright orange, like we've the worst tan in the world. But if I drag it down to about 75%, all the colour goes, and it just gives us this really, really nice dull effect. Also, to make it even more gross, or more horror, I would add a RGB curves. Again, search in here, RGB curves, slap it in, and voila, there you go. So what I did here is pull down this, so... I can have this really really dark room it just makes it look like the 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 whole scene is just for horror and now because I shot it at such a such a bright bright area of the room I have all this nice light effect which I can add lens for later maybe so as but you can make it dark or you can make it lighter if you want to you can make it look like a horrible really nice torture scene maybe but I'm gonna keep it around there but moving on like I said earlier um, colour correction is also used to make sure the s shots look like they've been shot in the same so let's just say we've colour corrected this shot really nice and it's not the best shot I've ever colour corrected uh, obviously this isn't going to be the final cut but I'm just going to show you what kind of stuff we're going to be looking at so if I press play now it will be, be a hit and then it's really bright red and lighty and horrible so let's add a proc amp and take away most of the colour almost the same yeah, about 4% there, 90% there, it's almost the same, obviously you can just copy and paste but usually m all the shots will be different. Um, let's just go with that there, and about, it looks way too light there. Okay cool, now let's also add our RGB curves. Yep, so as you can see now, this should flow and it should look the same. Here is a shot I wanted to show you. This is this is just answering the question why do you need to colour correct? If you look here, it's obviously shot in a weird room, it's yellow, it's horrible, it's it's not a horror film, it's not the horror film look I want to look I want it to look like. But as soon as you add colour correction, it gives you that tone, it gives obviously you need to dip out the yellow more, but it gives you that tone, it gives you that horrible look. Of that just dark and dreary background and it just gives you that moody look but um yes thank you for watching this is my video on color correction i hope you enjoyed